Chicago records 300th homicide with 13 over Father's Day weekend. I'm Otis Q. Pate from the Top Cats Rebel Connection on the Spreaker console reporting live at Spreaker.com slash Top Cats Airborne. And I come to you today with a little something special from the TRC News Delhi. This spread has been prepared by Mr. John J. Kim. And the date of this article is June 20th and 21st as a result of it being updated. While sharing this spread, I will be giving the spelling of some words and names for clarification and for further research. Chicago. Well, Chicago recorded its 300th homicide this weekend and tallied six others over a 60 hour period that saw 55 people shot, 13 fatally, from Friday afternoon through early Monday morning. And for you, for reference, I'd like to give the dates of that time period. So from Friday through Monday morning, that would be June 17th through June 20th, June 20th being Monday morning. So far this year, close to 1,800 people have been shot across the city and more than 200 of those wounded have died from their wounds, according to records kept by the Chicago Tribune. A total of 306 people have been killed this year by shooting, stabbing, or other means. A three-year-old boy was among the wounded who survived the weekend shootings. Police said he's in critical condition. The three-year-old boy was shot in the right shoulder near East 61st Street and South Kimbark Avenue in Woodlawn neighborhood at 6.15 p.m. Yes, during the day. Sunday. Which was on the 19th of June. Sunday, police said the boy was in a car seat when an unknown attacker fired shots at the car People in the vehicle managed to get the boy to University of Chicago Medical Center. He was then transferred to Comer Children's Hospital in critical condition. Five people were fatally shot and nine others were hurt between Friday afternoon and Saturday morning. Four of the fatalities occurred in seven hours. The fatalities included a 16 year old boy who was killed in West Inglewood about 9.05 p.m. on Friday. June 17th. He was in the front passenger seat of a car driving through an alley in the 6500 block of South 
Hamilton Avenue when two males came up and fired shots. According to the police. At least 28 people were found wounded, three fatally, in shootings from 8.30 a.m. Saturday to 4.30 a.m. Sunday, the equivalent of somebody shot every 43 seconds. One fatal shooting occurred during a possible murder, suicide in Hyde Park, About 9.50 a.m. Saturday. On June 19th. Police responded to the 1400 block of East 54th Street for a well-being check and found a 65-year-old woman with a gunshot wound to the head. A man, 73 years old, also was found shot in the head. Five more people were killed and seven others, including the three-year-old boy, were wounded from Sunday afternoon to early Monday. One of the fatalities Sunday was a 21 year old man shot with possibly an AK 47 and possibly an AK 47 is in quotes, which possibly means that they're not quite sure about that for whatever reason. The AK-47 is, of course, a uh, assault, is an assault rifle. And this rifle was used in the back of the yard's neighborhood, according to police. Police initially said the victim was 17. The 21-year-old who the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office said was Salvador Suarez, Suarez, spelled S-U-A-R-E-Z, was walking east on the 1700 block of West 46th Street around 1.30 p.m. when a light-colored four-door Saturn pulled up and fired shots with a high-powered semi-automatic weapon striking the victim as he attempted to run, said Eugene Roy, chief of detectives for the Chicago police. Suarez, Salvador Suarez, lived in the 4,500 block of South Hermitage Avenue and Hermitage is spelled H-E-R-M-I-T-A-G-E according to the medical examiner's office from which that particular part of this report derives. Police are investigating whether the rifle has been used in any other shootings. The victim was pronounced dead on the scene and the shooting was believed to be gang related. Roy said, Mr. Eugene Roy, chief of detectives said, a Chicago police officer also shot and wounded a male who allegedly pointed a gun at him near Humboldt Park on Sunday evening, June 19th, the male suspect, whose age was not immediately available, according to the Chicago Tribune, 
was shot in the lower extremities and was listed in serious but stable condition at Stroger Hospital. Stroger spelled S-T-R-O-G-E-R. For reference, this article is via msn.com via the Chicago Tribune. And what I did right before this necessary but very sad report was pull out my old trusted calculator and compile a bit of digits for you to put a few things in perspective. Now, as far as this article goes, it says so far this year, close to 1,800 people have been shot across the city and more than 200 of those wounded have died from their wounds. And of course, that was according to the Chicago Tribune. So when you use today's date and also the date for which this article was updated June 21st, 2016. June 21st is the 172nd day of the year. Divide that by the 1,800 people who have been shot. That leaves us with 10.46 people per day. 10.46 people. An unprecedented amount. The additional part of this report that I also used the calculator for was when they were talking about 306 people and I'm locating this in the article. Let's see here, 306 people have been killed this year as of the 172nd day. And with the digits put into the calculator, 306 people divided by 172 days, that equals two people per day. And we are not even halfway through 2016. If you've been paying attention to the ever-present, violent, bloody news reports that have been circulating in the mainstream news in reference to the ongoing, unbelievable violence and deranged shootings, in my opinion, in Chicago, you have to wonder at the very least, what in the world is transpiring? What in the world is going on? What in the world is causing all of these unprecedented, very disturbing events on such a constant basis? Certainly in reference to other states in our country, Certainly, 
in reference to other Western countries that are quote unquote civilized. At the very least, you have to wonder when is it going to stop? Well, I wish that I could tell you. I also wish that I could put into perspective what in the world is going on there. But unfortunately, I'm not a psychic. I do not have the God-given gift of extrasensory perception, ESP. So I cannot provide that information to you. But nevertheless, I hope that we will be in full agreement in saying that it is past time that a solution and precise information pertaining to the cause is found and as far as the solution is concerned, implemented. What those solutions could be outside of curtailing at the very least all of these horrible shootings and murders and stabbings and on and on and on at the very least we'd have to look towards those who are in the positions of authority who handle this type of and these type of dire situations and to my knowledge through the research that I've done for about 18 months, give or take a month or two. To my knowledge, Chicago is heavily camera patrolled as well as heavily officer patrolled. So it leaves me dumbfounded as well as wondering what is the reason that they don't have, they meaning the officials, what is the reason that they don't have numerous arrests? What is the reason that they do not know, for example, in this article, when they put into quotes, whether or not someone has been shot with an AK-47, That doesn't make any sense whatsoever to me, and I will not elaborate more on that because I may become a little bit more agitated and depressed than I already am. Moreover, while the officials do what they have to do in order to get this Beirut type of war under control. I would like just to take a few minutes and elaborate on a few possibilities and occurrences which might help in some way make this horrible situation a bit better and start adding some particulars which may eventually and quickly lead to a solution to bringing these numbers down to the teens or even better to zero. For example, I'm aware of many 
celebrities in our country that are from Chicago who are refusing for whatever reason they may have, and I'm not judging why they will or won't or what have you. I'm just stating the fact they are from Chicago, but they refuse to speak out on the situation. They don't use their blog sites or their Twitter sites or their Facebook page or their Patreon page or the Instagram page or any other social media platform that's available to them to speak out strongly against those who are absolutely positively without a doubt out of control. And I would like to encourage those celebrities who are from Chicago, as well as other celebrities, but most particularly those that are from Chicago, and I'm not going to mention any names. I would like to encourage them to start speaking out. A lot of them say, I don't speak out on the streets. I don't speak against the streets. What goes on in the streets has to stay in the streets. Really? What type of attitude is that for those of you who come from the great city of Chicago? Outside of an attitude that you maintain, that you've decided to maintain. If you celebrities, which you no, are looked up to you have the media in the middle of your hand the mainstream media for sure as well as alternative media entertainment sites and so forth and blog sites etc you have them in the palm of your hands why not use that power what is stopping you from using the power to save lives I set about three hours before this report thinking about all of this nonsense to me, nonsense to me, it's nonsense, wondering why that this is not at the top of the news every single day until there is a solution. And I could not come up with one thing. And I tell you, I'm a person who is, uh, very concerned about this situation and I think about it every single day and I do not even come from Chicago. So imagine if I was a celebrity and came from Chicago, the type of inertia and motivation and energy I would be putting to finding out what's going on and what could be implemented as solutions. And I'm sure there's many in the United States who feel the same way especially the mothers and the fathers and the relatives of those who have been killed. And by the way, I would like to give my condolences to all of the families of all of the relatives who have been involved in these treacherous events in these embarrassing events. I'm not one who is hesitant nor afraid to speak out on the streets for the same individuals who are doing whatever they, what they apparently feel like needs to be done for whatever reason, regardless of whether it's a gang or not or whatever. I'm absolutely sure they would not be at all enamored or happy or down with or relaxed with or any of that type of vibe if these victims were their relatives or someone that they cared about. So I don't even want to uh, hear any of that nonsense about not speaking out on the streets, keeping it real. Yeah. Keeping it real unconcerned, keeping it real, real dumb. Keeping it real, real unactive, inhumane. It doesn't take very long, even if the, the particular celebrity or celebrities 
it doesn't take long to have their assistants post the information that is necessary in order to be able to help in some way, in some fashion, to add some type of positivity to this onslaught of barbaricness or I sure hope that our president as well, who also has called Chicago his home. I hope our president has from these events, from this report, which was compiled yesterday and updated today, June 20th and June 21st. I hope that the president is getting his cabinet together, his cabinet together. And having those in his cabinet making phone calls to the necessary officials and doing whatever else I could not even imagine because I am not in that line of work. Those things are not my responsibility. Those are his. Those are our policing officials jobs. That's their knowledge. This is their specialty doing whatever it is they have to do in order to in order to uh, Get this situation under immediate control. One thousand eight hundred people have been shot as of June twenty first, the hundred and seventy second day of the year. That's 10.46 people per day. And over the Father's Day weekend, according to this report, as I hope you took note of earlier, 13 were fatally shot over that period from Friday, June 17th, through Monday morning. June 20th, 2016. In my opinion, the great city of Chicago should be in a state of emergency. Absolutely. And I don't know exactly what level that state of emergency should be implemented. Again, I am not a specialist by no means, by no <laughs> far reach in this area. But 1,800 people speaks for itself who have been shot For the Top Cats Rebel Connection, on June 21st, my name is Otis Q. Pate, wishing you a fantastic morning, afternoon, or evening. Thank you for joining me. Top Cats Rebel Connection can be found at Spreaker.com slash Top Cats Airborne. That's Spreaker.com slash T-O-P-K-A-T-S-A-I-R-B-O-R-N. Top Cats Rebel Connection.